Hi everyone and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So on today's video we are going to be carrying on with one of our new series on the channel which is if you could only play one game per console and in today's video we are going to be focusing on Xbox. So let's roll the intro and then we'll get into what games I've picked for today. Okay, before we get started, I do want to go through a couple of stipulations with today's video. So, I'm only going to be covering the first three consoles, so that is the original Xbox, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. The reason I'm not including the Series X on this one, and I know I included the PS5 on the last one, um, is because I don't have a Series X yet, so I haven't been able to play any games on it yet. Um, so I do want to, I, I want to try and limit the consoles that I'm putting on the list that I haven't played yet. Um, there are going to probably be a few in the later videos, but for these ones, um, I'll be honest, I don't even know what games are on the Series X <laughs> at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to leave the Series X out for today. Um, so, um, but what I am going to do today is I'm mean, going to include second places. So these are games that didn't quite win out on each of the consoles um, because obviously there's only three and I wanted to expand the video out a bit more. So I'm going to be including two games per console but only one of them is going to count as my list today. And we're going to get straight into it with the original Xbox and it was the reason that I bought my original Xbox as well, and it was OutRun 2. So, I know that I included an OutRun game on the last video, but if I'm honest, the, it was included on the last video because I didn't have anything else on the PSP to, uh, to actually use, uh, because I've not played my PSP that much. But this one is the reason that I bought an, X, an original Xbox. I'm, I, mean, I said it on the last video, I'm a massive fan of OutRun. Um, I remember playing, um, I used to go to the, go to one of the seasides with um, my aunt, my cousins when I was younger. And there was one arcade there, right on the edge. Every time we went there, first thing I did was go straight into this arcade, straight on the big OutRun machine that you sat in and it would move side to side as you uh, as you drove around. So yeah, I got OutRun 2 on the Xbox. Quite glad I got it when I did, because this is actually quite a sought after game now. Um, it is box complete, and yeah, it's one that I do tend to chuck in the Xbox every now and then and have a go at. <clears throat> I think I might have said it on the last video as well, but one of the games that I've got quite high up my wish list at the moment is the original OutRun on the Mega Drive. Um, haven't got it yet, but I am hoping to get it just after the new year. Um, all depends on sort of how money is. But then in addition to that, the second place game on the original Xbox, <clears throat> and might be a bit controversial this one, uh, because I'm not using, not referring to any of the top titles on the Xbox, it was Doom 3. Now, I originally bought Doom 3 on the PC when it first came out, and my PC at the time just could not play it. Um, it was juddery, and it was just horrible to play. So when I got my original Xbox, um, I then sought out to get Doom 3. Now, <clears throat> you would have seen this on the channel um, a little while ago, because this was one of the loft finds that I had when we were moving house. So it's recently been added back into the collection. But yeah, that's my shout for, um, that's my two shouts, sorry, for the original Xbox. Then we move on to the Xbox 360. 
And once again, this isn't going to be one of the Xbox 360 staples. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I've played the likes of sort of Gears of War and the Halos, and <laughs> it's going to be controversial, but I didn't really enjoy them. Um, played them for a little while each and just didn't enjoy them. Don't know why. Um, I am going to try them again because I've played both of them on the Xbox One. Um, so I've got, you'll see down the bottom, I've got Master Chief Edition um, on the Xbox One. I've also got, uh, there we go, I've got the Ultimate Edition of Gears. And yeah, played both of them in that form and just didn't enjoy them. So yeah, my top pick for the Xbox 360 is going to be Fallout 3. This has to be my most played game in all of my collection. <clears throat> I have played this so much and in all different formats. So I originally bought it <clears throat> as the standard edition on the PS3. I then bought the Game of the Year edition on the PS3 and started again. So I've played it through from the standard edition, then started it right back at the beginning, played it through on the PS3, on the Game of the Year edition, stopped on Point Harbor because there was a bug in Point Harbor that crashed the game, so I couldn't play it any further. Then I got it on Steam, and played it through again on Steam, this time I was able to complete the bits that I hadn't played. And then I bought it again on the Xbox. And I've then played it on the Xbox 360. I think I played it through again on the Xbox 360. And then I played it again on the Xbox One. But I don't think I played it all the way through on the Xbox One. So yeah, I'm at five or six, six times through Fallout 3. It is by far my favourite game out of my whole collection. Um, for those of you that have seen the pictures, my the top shelf just above me here is my Fallout shelf where I've got every special edition that's been released. Um, and you'll see my um, Power Armor helmet from the um, Power Armor helmet edition of Fallout 76. And yeah, so yeah, just love it. Really, really chuffed that this was a backwards compatible game on the Xbox One. So I got to play it again and again. And then the next game that I've got for the Xbox One um, is not one that I've got physically. Um, I've over, only ever played it digitally. And that was State of Decay. So I played, I got State of Decay just after it came out and thoroughly enjoyed it. Didn't put in as much time as I probably could have done. Um, but I think actually I've got... Uh, I don't know, maybe I haven't. I thought I had the second one, but maybe I haven't. Um, so yeah, I played the first one. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it for what it was. It was a fresh take on the zombie genre uh, back at the time. Um, the open world sort of option was really enjoyable. So if you haven't played State of Decay, uh, the original one, I'd say grab it. It's probably really cheap. If not, it's probably easy to get hold of. I think there's a, uh, a physical version of it now as well. But yeah, definitely grab hold of it and give it a go. Um, there will be, it will be very similar now to a lot of games that have come out since. And there will be better games or, or games that have done the same thing and better. Uh, one that comes to mind is Dying Light. Um, absolutely amazing game. Love that game. And I still play it to this day. I think I'm on my second or third run through of that now. Um, I think I'm playing that on my PS5 now. So yeah, give State of Decay a go. It was really, really enjoyable. Then we're going to move on to the Xbox One. It's going to be the last console for today. And my choice for the Xbox One is actually going to be Prey. So, I believe, was Prey a, I can't remember if Prey was an Xbox One exclusive. I 
honestly can't remember. Um, but either so, I have it on the Xbox One. If it is on PS4, I don't have it on the PS4. And yeah, absolutely loved it. It was, the storyline behind it I thought was brilliant. The gameplay was amazing. It literally ticked all of the boxes. And then you finish with an absolute cracking uh, twist at the end. So, yeah, if you have not played this game, you have to go out and buy it. Um, I've got, I've played it through, and I bought, I think, uh, about a couple of months afterwards, I then bought the DLC. I haven't had the chance to play the DLC yet, but I'm desperate to get back of it. I've heard rumours that there is going to be a second um, but I think it's one of these ones that one of these games that is going through a bit of development hell. So I I am praying that they bring out another prey <laughs> um, because it was it was an absolutely amazing game and yeah really really worth play. Um, as I say, I can't I can't praise this one up and up enough. It is definitely one that is by far. The, the best game on the Xbox One for me. And then the last choice for today, so this is gonna be the second place game on the Xbox One for me, and it is Rare Replay. Now, this, there was literally one game that I bought this for. I think everyone's gonna know exactly what it is before I say it, um, and that is Conker's Bad Fur Day. So unfortunately, I don't have a copy of the original Conkers on the N64. I am trying to get one, but 250 to 300 pound for a single game is very difficult to get that sort of money together um, and also to justify it to the wife. Because if I turn around and she gets even the hint that I've spent 250 pounds on a single game, uh, I won't be going for divorce. I'll be going to the funeral home because she would kill me. <laughs> but, so I got uh, the Rare Replay as a second place option to play in Conkers on the N64. And I have had, I've had a chance to play it briefly. Uh, really enjoyed it. Really want to get back to it and play it through a bit more. And yeah, that is going to be my second choice for the Xbox One. But that is gonna be my choice choices for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these choices. And yeah, let me know your choices. I will admit, I thoroughly enjoyed getting everyone's choices for the PlayStation video. There were some really, really good choices there. Um, and some actually that made me consider had I made the right choices in mine. So yeah, leave me your choices down below. Um, and yeah, as soon as I see them, I will reply as soon as I can. Uh, I'm not always the best at replying to comments. It normally takes me a couple of days. <laughs> but um, I do read every comment that comes through. I actually get it flashing up on my phone. So I might not reply straight away, but I do read every comment that comes through. And yeah, with that said, I am gonna wrap up the video there. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. At the moment, I'm really trying to push the channel forward. Um, I am thinking about doing a subscriber giveaway um, in the very, very distant future when we hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> I think we're just over 250 at the moment. I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but yeah. I am planning a subscriber giveaway at 500 subscribers. And then if we ever get to the 1,000 subscribers, there will be a mega giveaway. Um, once again, haven't decided on what they are yet. I'll wait until nearer the times. But yeah, if you do enjoy the content that I put out, um, help me along a bit by hitting that subscribe button. And yeah, with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. So thank you so, so much for joining me today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.